Hello, hello, Valiant streaming here, guys, and look at this. We're back in old school RuneScape. Get in there. Let's uh, let's pour a quick coffee before we start. Once again, thank you so much for all the uh, subscriptions and the uh, the comments and the views. Love you all. Superb. I can't believe it. But let's get straight on with this. So. Oh yes, we smelted it. We've got a. We're gonna make. Let's have a look. We are making swords, aren't we? Oh, I've just got to double check. Do we? Do we have a kite shield on? Hold on. I think we do. Yeah. So yeah. So we we've got to make these swords, haven't we? Till we level up. That's the hope, right? That's the hope, and then we'll sell the swords. This is exactly where we left it. You'll have to excuse me a little bit as well, guys. I feel like uh, I've got a little bit of a sniffles coming on. So I do apologise if you hear me sniffling a bit, or you, I sound a little bit chesty. Right, it looks like we might level. Oh, it's going to be close. No, we will. We'll level, won't we? Whether we can make anything else usable is another question. But that's okay. This will make us some coinage. One more. Okay, there we go. So, what can we now make? You can now make bronze two-handed swords. And there's more information available from the Smithing Apprentice Tutor in Lumbridge. Is that this guy? This has got to be him, right? I already know about the basics of smelting. Got any tips? I find it useful to stockpile my ore before smelting it in one go. Or even do it on the way to the bank in such places as Alcarid or Falador. But you can do it any way you want. One load at a time is fine too. Not too much can go wrong with smelting. Was that it? I was expecting a bit more. So, we can make two-handed swords now, but they take three bars. So, let's just make one. See if we can work out the price from what you people have been saying. So, you say, if we examine that, all that shows is a razor-sharp sword. I was told that if we look at it, Hmm, it would tell us, have we got to put something on up here? In one of these, Oof. I wouldn't know. <clears throat> uh, is there vendor prices? No. Shop prices, maybe? No. Uh, Alright, we're going to zip down it, because someone did say so. Account, agility, ammo, animation, smoothing, anti-drag, attack styles, bank, bank tags, barbarian assault. Uh, bless my... I'm going to read it in my head because it's quicker. <coughs> Examine. Shows additional, additional information. That has to be it, right. Let's just check now. Alright, that's that's what someone told me to use. And they said <coughs> that the HA value is what you get in the shop. And that is actually what I do get for those in, in the uh not in the general, but in the quality. So let's check this. 48. If that's true, then we're going to get more for the bronze two-handed sword, aren't we? Because we'd get, only get 45. First. So let's let's make let's make another bronze two-handed. Let's make one more, and we'll make one more sword just for the 
heck of it for the XP and the coin. There. <clears throat> right, so... With that being done, what we're going to do is we're going to go and sell it all. Let me zoom out because I'm... We have to remember to look for imps as well. Okay, so what I've decided to try and do here... Oh, look, there's an imp there. Kill him! We're looking for beads off these things. Hey, congratulations, you just got your hit points up. Nice. Come on, finish him. Any time today. There we go. Oh. Oh, okay, he's dropped something different. Right, the ashes, I've been told, we can scatter the same. Let me just check. Scatter the fiendish ashes. And we get 10 prayer. That's pretty good. But what's this? Use a mind talisman. I want to examine it first. It's not, it doesn't sell for much. Use it. Hmm. All right, that's got to be something for the bank. But we're going to run a bit. I know we're heavy. I do know we're heavy, but we're going to run to Varrock to sell all of this stuff. Then what we're going to do is start chopping some trees down so we can bank the money, etc. Well, here, and we can keep looking around for imps. Well, oh, there's one. Look, look, look. Another imp. Oh, I can't click on it, little bugger. Not having the, my best of days today. Got a, a lot of the old shakes in my hands. Right, let's uh, let's try. What the? Sh what do you mean, man? Who's this? Oh, is, is this just one of them things? Talk to him. Let's just talk to him. You like hitting things? You want to play a game of pinball? I sure do. Yes, pinball is fun. Okay. Oh. You poke ten flashing pillars, right? You not poke other pillars, right? Okay, you go play now. Flashing pillar? It's got to be flashing pillar, right? Flashing pillar. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. Oh, yes. Yeah, score three down there. Look. So we've got to get ten. Is that what he said? Hit ten flashing pillars. All right. This is. Uh, pretty trivial. I can't really sprint. I don't really have much. Stamina. <laughs> this is funny. Do you know, I enjoy just seeing these things in a giant pinball table. What are we on? Nine? Is this the one? You may now leave the game area. Exit the game cave. Fair enough. Your reward is five emeralds. Nice. Very nice. I'm quite happy. The trouble is we, we lost the uh, we lost the imp. But never mind. I'm sure there'll be plenty more. You won't be able to seem to go very far without seeing an imp in, in all honesty. It's probably a good thing. 
Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> hey, I'm only human, right? 28 seconds of sprinting power, but we need the sprinting power, and that be some of it at least. We're getting past those uh, those wizards. Okay. We better not use any more. Let's just keep 10 seconds to get past the wizards. <clears throat> this way. I'm kind of getting used to the area a little bit. This, this kind of area around here at least. It doesn't feel too, too large. Plus you've got... Uh, a very nice map, really. I'll tell you what I'm not too sure of, though. What these are on the map. It says transportation, but... Oh, oh don't do that. Run. Just run now. <gasps> Silly Val, silly. Right, here's the sword shop. Let's uh, let's check the prices now of these uh, trade. The two-handed sword and right price of the two-handed sword. Value it. You can't sell this item to this shop. Hmm? You can't sell a sword to the shop. Wait. Value these. See, they're 15, so it's got to be right. So let's sell five of these. Maybe it's because I need to move world. Let me change to another world. Uh, let's just go to this one. Right, let's just take a look. Oops. What's going on, man? I'm really struggling today. <laughs> it's one of them days. Right. Sell five of the normals. Now, how much will you give me for this value? You can't sell this item to this shop. All right. So, obviously, we've got to find a, a two-handed weapon shop or something. So, hold on. Let's just... Get rid of these uh, normal swords, short swords, whatever we want to call them. Sell five more here. We'll sell the last ones at one more shop. We'll go to one more shop. Um, oh, come on. Oh, where can we go? I don't know where we, we've just been, to be honest with you. Let's try... Uh, try this one. Okay, let's trade here. Let's, we'll just sell all of these that we have. Wait, is that... Yeah sell whatever we have right these two-handed swords then where are we going to sell those to um map let's just check the shop really quick shopping i mean apothecary archery axe bounty hunter candle shop chain mail clothes crafting dye trader estate agents farming fishing food for garden supply gem shop general store grand exchange helmet shop herbalist holiday item trader Hunter shop, jewellery shop, junk checker, mace shop, magic shop, mining shop, newspaper shop, pet shop, plate, body plate, legs plate, skirt, pricing expert, pub, rope trader, sawmill, scimitar shop, shield shop, silk trader, silver shop, speed running shop, spice shop, staff shop, stonemason, sword shop, tannery, tech shop. All right, this is going to be one of those times then. 
this will be one of those times when I will use the wiki. See, I don't know what I would be looking for. So I'm actually going to look this up on the wiki. Bring it over so you can see. Uh, bronze twice is the weakest two-handed sword in RuneScape. Where can it be sold? Creation, combat styles, treasure traits, item source, shop locations. Okay, so only members can can uh, sell that. Oh well, that's a bit of a shitter. Right. Okay, so let's sell it across the road at the general store. We're not going to be making these again, I'm pretty sure. Six ingots up the swanee there. It happens. Right. Trade. Let's see how much he'll offer us. <laughs> 32. Not the best, but better than nothing. All right, let's sell them. Gone. Okay, to the back. Wow, Halloween's still up here. Wonder why Halloween's still up. Surely it's uh, past time. But we've got 323 gold. We've got five emeralds. And we've got this mind talisman. I mean, I, I, I may, I may have to uh, take a look at the mind talisman soon. On the wiki as well. But I'll give you folks a chance to maybe clue me up on it. I don't know where to put this, so I'm going to leave it up here with the, with the money. Emeralds, they're going to go in that tab. Um, that's gone back in there. Okay, so we've got our hatchet. We're gonna we're gonna chop some trees down. We're gonna gain a bit of wood cutting skill. Can we just chop anything down? Let's just see. That made me jump. Okay, we can. Oh my goodness, this is going to be the same as mining. Holy cremoly. Oh, that was quick, though. Wood cooking level two. That was that was very quick. Right, so I, I, I had a little chat with some people in the, the comments about woodcutting, they said you really should try and get it up to do the canoe stations, all right? But the chatting also was what to do with the wood. Because I'm free to play, I can't do, what is it? Let me see. We can't do the fletching, it's members only. So there is fire making, I, I wasn't sure what the point of fire making was. So I think just for the time being, wow. Wow, well, this goes up pretty quick. I think for the time being, we'll just store the the uh, the logs that we get in the bank. We'll just store them until we can make a, a proper decision on what we're doing. Right. What level did we have to get to? I I don't recall. To um to do the canoe station. I'm ri wow, we've nearly leveled again, look. Level four. This is crazy. This is a lot faster than mining, I'm sure. Wow, 
Wow, really? That made me walk all the way around the outside. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, no, he's going to chop my tree. Go away, go away. Go, 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 chop, 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 chop. If I got it, or he got it. I'll move away from him now. I think he was there before me, wasn't he? What's this big arena? Wow, level five. Good lord. Talk to Brooks and Burson. This seems like a nice little spot to chop trees. There's plenty of them around. I hope you folks don't mind me doing things like this. I mean, I've got to get the skills up, right? I'm sure you don't mind. I mean, like I say, there was a few of you telling me to start working on the wood cutting. We hadn't touched it up until now. Holy smokes, level six. Can't we actually do anything though with it? Nothing's coming up. Normal trees, members can do achy, achy trees. Oh, yes, achy trees. That's exactly what that says. Um, 10 members can do light jungle. We can do oak trees at 15. Axes, bronze, iron, steel. Okay, that's the same as mining. Oh, wood cutting log canoe 12. Dug out canoe 27. Okay. Oh, it looks like we might have to be 12 then. All right, let's just, let's do a bit more. I don't only want to woodcut this episode. If I'm honest, I will cut wood, but I also want to do a little bit more fighting and get some more hides off the cows. So maybe we'll just do one full backpack of lumberjacking just for now. I mean, the skill's going up. We're about to hit level seven. We just have hit level seven. Madness. Oh, look at these big hands. Holding. Is it, are they coins, discs or something? Coins, I'm gonna guess. Okay, there's the bank. So we're quite close to the bank just to go and throw these in. A spooky dog. <laughs> hey, the spooky dog's following me. He certainly was following me. Right. Let's put all of the logs in there for now. Just for now. Let's put the the hatchet away, the axe. Um We've got twelve cowhide at the moment. Let's let's um I can't remember how much it is now. I'm going to withdraw 10. I'm not going to take any food with me. I'm going to take a bit of a bit of a gamble here. So I'm going to go back to Lombridge on a teleport. 
we're going to get some more hides and I think do a little bit more crafting. But I'm going to try and not, not use any, uh, yeah, <laughs> any food. See if we can kill the cows now. We have some more armor, don't we? And we've got a little bit better fight skill than we were. Six. Yeah, okay. This is cows. Here, let's go in here. I was told to leave sprinting on when I'm fighting, so we will. We'll go over this corner. See if we can kill these things any easier. Hopefully we won't take much damage and have to just go early. Okay. Hit it! I was hoping to see an input to as well, but... Wow, this is actually hurting me. This could have been a, a mistake on my part. I'm obviously not a cow hunter. The imps are easier than these. Gosh, this one cow's took me like half health pretty much. Let's uh, let's bury the bones as we get them. Come here, Mooka. Got to keep my eye on my health. I mean, this could have been a bad mistake doing this. <clears throat> we'll see. We're almost leveled up on our strength. I certainly don't want to die. Not to a cow. How embarrassing might that be, you know? Doing a hardcore Iron Man and dying to a cow. Would be, that would be probably the utmost humiliation. You could forgive it if your PC crashed. But other than that, oh, it would be rough, wouldn't it? It would be rough. I should have just brought a couple of food with me. Just here's me thinking, yeah, yeah, we've got better armor now and and we're better fighters. But are these cows still still hurt us. Right, let's keep doing this. Bury the bones. Just got to keep my eye on my health. I don't know at what point to run for the gate. <laughs> Running from the, a cow that would be funny. Do you know what? It's not too far away, though. Look, we're down to five health. Let's get this stuff. Next time we're going to carry a bit of food, always. Oh, what did I do then? I clicked the wrong button. Oh, it buried it anyway. I pressed the left button on it and it buried it. Nice. I really don't want to have to run back to the bank in Lumbridge and get some food out to come back. That would be devastating. That would be a pure waste of five minutes. How are we doing? Oh my word. What are we down to? Four health. Okay, I can't say I'm not starting to get concerned. Okay, we're back up to 
five health. Okay, it's down. Oof. So I can left click this and bury it. Yes. All right. I like that. All right, I'm going to fight this one because it's near the gate. Gotta remember, we only have five health. Oh, defense has just gone up. That's got to help, right? Oh, says made down to four health. I feel like I'm really risking this, to be honest with you. Running around on four health. We're nowhere near leveling up the hit points. But let's just keep going. From, oh, we're back to five health again. Oh my god, the gate's closed. And cows are spawning on top of me. It's all going wrong. I must always bring a little bit of food with me, whatever I'm doing, I think. Coming out with no food. It, I only did it because I thought, yeah, yeah, I can carry more. The 10 gold that I brought is to go through the gate. So I can go and pick the other stuff up from over. Because the, there's a bank over in the desert place, isn't there? Oh, look. Look what I can see out there. We're going for Mr. Imp. We're on low health. I hope this imp doesn't suddenly uh, start hitting me like a boss. We're at five health now. There's another imp in there, look. That's nice. If we can actually kill it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, I can't actually hit him. What are my skills at now? They're all at six. Okay, we got him. Bread dough. And fiendish ashes. So we'll scatter those. So we actually get, actually, we get 10 for scattering the ashes. I want to get in there to him. Over the style, look. Use the bread dough. We could cook that. Well, so far we've had zero. Oh, he's respawned already. Wow. Trouble is, I'm supposed to be killing cows. Oh, look, we got we've got a white bead. We have a white bead. Sweet, we've got our first quest piece. Oops. Scatter. Uh, we have our first quest piece. I'm actually going to kill this cow. Because I do want to fill up on... Uh, I'm going to keep this bread though. Maybe I can just cook that into some bread in a minute if I need to. Oh, the heat's in there as well. Look. These things seem to spawn, unless it's the same one. Interesting. Did I change? Did I? No. I want to be on this one. Okay. Bury that. Let's get this cow here. We're healing anyway. We're up to seven health. I think... Oh, that circle then 
is it? Yes, that circle that goes around that is like the health regen, isn't it? You get a point of health when it goes all the way around. Nice. Okay, we are filling up. We're filling up. Oh, do you know what? I want I want another imp now. Let's go for this imp. See if we can get lucky with uh, another one of these beads. I really think I need to work on my smithing some more. We'll see. We've got so much to do. Cadaver berries and fiendish ashes. All right. Oh, this cow came straight to me. Look. Here. Take my hide and my meat. Bury my bones, though, won't you? <laughs> no worries, Mr. Cow. We will oblige. Here we go, down he goes. One, two, three. Okay, hey, we're nearly we're nearly full actually. Let's go back inside. We're getting some skill ups and we're almost for I don't know what these cadaver berries are for. Can we just examine them? Poisonous berries. Hmm. Um, okay, we'll see if, okay, we've just got our strength, we'll see if the shop will buy them in a minute. Go down onto plot for the defense. Right, we can kill one more cow and then we're good to move. Oops, oops. What am I doing? What am I doing? I went to turn the screen round, hold left mouse button to do it, but I don't use left, I use my the button on the side of my mouse. So we want the bones first, don't we? So we can bury. Okay, that was nice. We went up on... You can now use the prayer burst of strength. We need to have a quick look at these prayers, you know. So what have we got? Thick skin. So you can increase your defense by 5%. Or we've just got this one. Increase your strength by 5%. Okay. Fair enough. Right, let's let's get back. So what I want to do first of all is I want to go to the general store here and see if we can get anything for these cadaver bearers. Let's stop running from the trade. Anything's better than nothing, but let's just see. Come here, dude. What's he doing? Right, value them. Nothing. Just take them off my hands, mate. Yeah, have them. They're poisonous, but I'm not telling you that. Yeah, make a cup of tea with them, bud. You'll enjoy those. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> right, come on. Let's get over the water. Now, I'm going to need the map once I get over the... I mean, through the fence here. 
This is what I brought this 10 gold for, because these buggers here charge me, don't they? To go through the gate. Pay the toll up. No, it's over there somewhere we're going. It's one of these buildings. So let's just check the map. It's that one, isn't it? The tannery. But first of all, I'm going to need to get some coins out of the bank and I want to try something that I have been oh look there's a range there let's, let's see if we can cook this dough we can oh we can try oh and all the meat let's try the bread first we made it we made ourselves a, a loaf of bread would you believe That was that imp's dinner. Not anymore. It's my dinner now. Okay, cooking's gone up to 12. Members can now cook thin snails and spicy crunches. Hmm, interesting. Let's keep cooking. Uh oh, we burnt the meat. We burnt the meat. Wow. Members can now cook scrambled eggs. Right, let's... Uh, oh, no, we need to keep that, don't we? We were told it's for a quest. I forget what they said now, but I know they said burnt meats for a quest. So we've got three in there. Let's uh, put the rest in. Now, this is what I wanted to try. Oh, we've got some bread. Let's the bread in there right let's put this up there leave that up there now this is what I wanted to try do you know I can't remember what I wanted to try let's take this stuff out and that one and the needle and the th thread like so this is what we're going to do we want to try and gain some crafting skill now the tannery is just in here somewhere okay Let's trade with him these NPCs are acting incredibly strange today. Right, let's tan all of them. Done. Um, okay, now we use needle on the leather. Oh, hold on a moment. We've already got leather gloves. Boots we don't have. Let's try and make some boots. Oh, actually, do we have skill to make the boots? No, you need craft level 7. What are we? 5. We may get to 5 with these, maybe. Let's see. Let's make some boots. Uh, let's make some gloves then. Oh, there's 6. You can now craft gold necklaces. Oh my god, they're the things that sold for 300 and something. Oh, but we have to be able to mine gold, don't we? When can we mine gold? Gold. gold. <laughs> 40. At level 40, we can mine gold. Oh, but then on top of that, you probably have to smelt gold at 40 as well. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's a goal. That's got to be big money, right? If I can... Surely... Once I can mine gold and smelt gold, if I can make these necklaces and sell them at 300 and some each, that's got to be good loot, right? All right, let's just carry on. We need to get to level seven. Do we have enough materials to get seven? Yes, easy, easy.
One more. Okay, crafting level seven. You can now craft boots, pie dishes, and gold bracelets as well. Ooh. Ah, you know, I need I need to grind my mining and my smithing, I really do. Right, let's try and make some boots then. Just one pair. Okay, we have we have boots on. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, let's just, let's carry on. Uh, what level to make? Mind you, we don't need the leather cow, but still, what level to make it? Nine. Nine. So let's just make these boots and see if we can reach nine, perhaps. Oh, did I make just one again? I did, didn't I? We want to make them all until we either level or run out of uh, leather. Okay, that's eight. We don't have enough to get to nine. You can now craft bowls and gold amulets. Wow, there's uh, there's more to this than I, I honestly thought. It is me thinking it's it's kind of leatherworking crafting. Um. If I recall, is there a leather shop? Or, a, or the crafting shop might buy them, right? The crafting shop, is that this one? It's where we bought the needle and thread from. Oh, is that? No, farming patch. Crafting shop. And there is a general store here as well. So maybe this person might buy these. Yeah. It doesn't look like it, does it? You can't sell it. All right, how much are they kind of worth? Three. These. Three. Do you know what? Honestly. For three gold each, I'm probably not going to chase around. How much will they give us in here? Probably one or they won't buy them, right? Value. Two. And these? Two. Do you know what? Uh, let's not mess about. There's not enough to, to, to swap worlds to bother about, right? Just do that. Um, right, let's go bank our goods. We still have some time left. I want to go and look for some more imps, quite honestly. I'd like to go and look for more imps. I'm going to take that loaf of bread with me, though. I'd like to go back, I think, near the farms. You know, being as we don't have that long left, put these away. What's that? I don't know what that even is. Oh, wait, we have these though, don't we? Let's withdraw those. I don't know what that was meant to be. Oh, it's coin. Stupid me. Right, where's the loaf of bread? Let's take that out. Let's scatter these. One, two, three. Can we... Oh, I've got to wait six more minutes. It's going to cost us another ten gold to get out of there. Because we don't want to wait. We want to try and find some more imps. 
just to see if we can get lucky. Okay, pay the toll. Somebody did mention about there's something on rune light where you can highlight like the imps and whenever they're on the screen you can highlight them but i don't really i didn't really like the idea of that one all right let's go back up near the near the cow field because we saw a couple up there right So eyes peeled. For reals, <laughs> don't see one now. No, I don't see one. Darn it, I should have brought my axe out, shouldn't I? And chopped stuff for my axe as well. Oh, there's one. Come here, you, Mr. Imp. Just put your bead on the floor and I'll let you run away. Just drop your bead. Go on, drop it. What do we reckon? Do we feel he's got a bead? He's probably got uh, some more bread dough. Oh, he's got an, he's got another one of these mind talismans. Hmm. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look it up now. See if any of you folks can give me a a, a good explanation without me. Digging through the wiki. I try to avoid the wiki as much as I can. I know it's really helpful, but most... Pe A mugger. He's actually coming at me. Come at me, bro. What level is he? Oh, he's level six. Okay, we've got, we've got our bread. Oh, we're beating his ass. Yeah, who's mugging who, mate? Or who's the mug? Someone's getting slapped down. Mate, you've come to mug me and you don't even have a weapon. And you're wearing sandals. I think my money's on myself here. Yeah? He's only got two health left. If we do it, the crit is going down. We can't hit him. There he goes. Oh. Is that all he dropped with some bones? Oh, I was expecting for coinage. Never mind. Well, he was a bit of a waste wasn't he oh he's, he's respawned there as well. I'm not killing him again it's not to say he won't drop something good or he can't but that's a shame about I was hoping that we could have killed at least three or four him you know not seeing any more around right now uh, I know someone did mention I think somebody said Falador 
for imps. Hmm. We don't have time to go to Falador now. Should we check one more time by the cow field? Let's do it. But we have found one bead. We've done some um, combat leveling. Oh, there. Come here, Mr. Imp. Boosh. Oh, yes. Nice double hit. Oh. Oh, this is what I want to see. Uh, he went down easier. Oh, we got another blue wizard hat. And here was me saying, oh, it, I thought it was more costume stuff. Apparently it's not. Apparently it will, uh, it will help me out casting spells. So that's, uh, that's a good thing. Just looking around in case there's another one. Just a couple more minutes we've got to look. It's not looking favourite, is it? Let's go this way. No, not seeing, not seeing one around. I can see why people said to do this quest as you're doing other, other things. I wouldn't want to try and do a whole episode of, yeah, we're doing this quest and spend the whole time looking around for imps. That could be a... A channel destroyer. <laughs> okay. It looks like we're not going to get another one. But it was worth a look around. Let's head back to Lumbridge. I'm scanning the screen looking around. There's someone here making fires. I mean, we may do that at some point. I mean, it is a skill to raise, but I'm failing to see what the point of it is. I can't. I mean, when I look in here, look, fire making. It's just, you can burn different types of logs. I mean, there's a few things there, but I don't really know. I don't really know what uh, what worth it has to me. I think we'll go and bank these two items. Although we've already got a wizard hat. Can we sell this one? Could we sell it? The wizard hat? Plus we've got a mind talisman, but I don't know what they are. So for now, I should probably keep the mind talisman. But the hat, surely I don't need to keep that. You won't even buy it. Uh, I'll just keep it for now, just in case. I'd hate to sell it and one of you guys say, you need it for a quest or take it to so-and-so. He'll give you two million for it. <laughs> Right, we're not going to sprint because we want our uh, stamina to build up. I've got the screen fully panned out just in case I see an imp. Okay, let's climb up. Climb up. Hmm. 
No impses. Right. Let's put these away. Oh, it stacks anyway, so that's okay. Does this? Yeah. We'll keep the bread handy. Um, This is where we're going to leave it. But what to do next episode? Let me have a think. Let me have a think right now. Um... Let me think. I mean... <sighs> I think we'll probably do a little bit of mining again. And a bit of smithing. Probably some cow killing. And maybe I'll go and have a look around Falador or Imps. Maybe that's what we will do next, next time. Let me just check. Imp catcher. Huh. Oh, it hasn't put a cross or anything. Oh, maybe because it's in the bank? Let me just double check something. Take this out. Now what does it say in my quest? Okay, fine, fine, fine. So we'll keep it in the bank. I panicked a bit then. So yes, I think that's what we're going to do. Next time. So many quests to do, but I, I do want to stick to an, an order. Just makes it a bit easier on my mind. But so much to do. But I'm afraid that's the end of the episode, guys. It goes so quick. It really does. But thank you so much for all being here. I really do appreciate all the support you guys give me. All the comments, the, the likes, uh, the views, yeah, the subscriptions, all of it. Keep it all coming. Um, I, I, I do so appreciate it. And it it pushes me on to keep going and to try and do it more exploring in all three of the games that I, I video. But yeah, until next time, guys, you all take care. God bless. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye for now. Take it easy.